Mayors work very hard on, on budgetary matters and political matters at, every day. Ten years later, there will be very little evidence of that work or those decisions, perhaps. But the decision a mayor makes about the design will positively impact a city for generations, 50, 100 years or more. When you go back and look at the city and where it was in, say, 1993 or 1994, we always thought we were a good place to live and a good place to raise a family. But to be honest, we weren't a city worth visiting. We didn't have you know, any stuff that we were proud to show off. We had passed taxes to try to entice industry there, and they rejected us. What corporate America was really searching for was the quality of life that Oklahoma City did not offer. Anytime you traveled, people would say, you know, ask where you're from. I'd say, Oklahoma City, and I'd get this blank stare. You know, they just had no concept of what Oklahoma was. Mayor Norig decided we needed to do something different. We needed to invest in ourselves. And so he came up with this inventive, creative package called MAPS. It was an acronym that stood for Metropolitan Area Projects. It's a penny in the dollar sales tax for a defined number of years, with the city's promise that they will build projects and hopefully meet or exceed the citizens' expectations. The campaign theme was Believe in the Future. In order for us to attract the kind of industry that we sought, first we needed to be a great city for us to live in. It's not an exaggeration to say, maps changed everything. The first maps vote was in 93, and then the bombing happened in April of 1995. The bombing was such a gut punch. As the days wore on, people reacted the way Oklahomans do. There was a strong feeling of, we're gonna make something good come out of this. Oklahoma City responded by bringing design strategies to how we deal with this. Over 20 buildings were, were destroyed. People don't realize that from outside. And if we're going to replace it, let's do better. Mayor Norig had been planning to attend the Mayor's Institute on City Design in Charleston, but after the Murrow bombing, he made a decision to stay at home. Joe Riley said, Mayor Norig, you need to come to this session. And they spent the entire Mayor's Institute working with Mayor Norig to support him and what he should do to rally his community the National Endowment came in and offered to do a design charrette and worked with local designers, financiers, all those people, big community collaborative. And it built on our civic capacity to address in very constructive and forward-leaning ways the challenges that we were dealing with. Design helped people heal. You do build on success. The first MAPS, once it was underway, people believed in it. Then came MAPS 2 with Mayor Humphreys. And MAPS, the acronym, changed from Metropolitan Area Projects to Metropolitan Area Public Schools. Maps for Kids, a, an act of political genius that my predecessor and some other civic leaders were able to put together to bring together in a consensus 24 school districts, an entire city council, and the business community. Oklahoma City had the great good fortune of having Kirk Humphreys as mayor at just the moment that we needed leadership for our schools. Not only did we repair and improve the schools, in fact, we rebuilt or built new every single school facility in the district. The 
Mayor Cornette has picked that brand up again and has introduced and passed MAPS 3, which is a continuation of the work that's been done over the last two decades. Three different mayors, three different times, three different skill sets, but all with the same message. We're all for making this investment. We're all for Oklahoma City. Those mayors have instilled into the culture of that great city. If you have leadership at the local level that people believe in, then people would vote to increase their taxes to do something for your city. And that's the beauty of what mayors are really all about. Getting stuff done on the ground, working with constituents. The citizens have seen a united front. In Oklahoma City, there's more people pulling on the same rope than perhaps any city in the country. Now, when you go to Oklahoma City, you walk the streets and you talk to citizens, you go to a Thunder game, it's a city that's vibrant and excited. You can see a tremendous amount of change in the amount of activity downtown. Coffee shops are springing up and you just see a lot more people on the street. It's been such a pleasure to get to work on some of these things that have ultimately awakened Oklahoma City and changed it into something that people are really proud of. And of course it's a virtuous cycle where good design begets community involvement, begets more good design. Our kids and our grandkids are going to want to stay here. They're going to be able to find employment. They're going to raise families. Oklahoma City is a textbook story that we can all learn from and celebrate because it suggests that there's hope for our American cities. There are great things happening there, and most of that would not have been possible if it hadn't been for that original concept, that original idea. Let's invest in ourselves and make a better city. People have seen what Oklahoma City has become, and now they see a community that's got its act together. It's quite fulfilling to see once we have seen the results and the benefits of this higher level of design, we really like it and we don't want to go back.